Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to properly install Battlecats Ultimate. I've noticed that a lot of other tutorials about how to install Battlecats Ultimate are slow, long, don't explain uh, how to install it properly, whatever. This tutorial plans to solve that and give you a straightforward way to install Battlecats Ultimate. So to get right down to business, uh, you're going to want to open Chrome. And the first thing you're going to want to do is search up Battlecats Ultimate. Scroll down, find the GitHub page, click the GitHub page, and it should bring you to this big page about Cats Ultimate. Uh, it should actually bring you to the bcu-java-pc page, which is what you want if you're on PC. Uh, if you're on Android, stop watching this tutorial. This is for PC only. Android install is different, obviously. Anyhow, so... What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install the initializer. So you just click it and I'll start downloading it. I already have it. I'm so I'm going to cancel that. And after you download the BC, uh, BCU initializer, you're going to want to go to this page right here. Java.com slash en slash download slash manual dot JSP. If you don't want to type out this link, this will be in the description as well as the GitHub page for Battlecats Ultimate. And you're going to want to scroll down. Um, and you'll see these three options here for Windows. If you're on Mac, um, I don't even know. If, I'm pretty sure Battlecats Ultimate can go on Mac, but I don't know. I've never touched Mac before, so I can't help you with that. But for Windows, uh, depending on your uh, type of system, you either have a 32-bit system or a 64-bit system. I have a 64-bit system, so I download the Windows Offline 64-bit. Uh, if you have a 32-bit system, you just click the Windows Offline and follow the instructions once you're installing Java. So I'll just click. I'll click this. It should start downloading. And that's the entirety of Java. You need Java to run Battlecats Ultimate. If you don't have Java installed, you can't run Battlecats Ultimate. After you're done installing Java and you have the initializer downloaded, will go to your desktop. Now this is where you want to make a folder for Battlecats Ultimate. So you can just name it whatever. Okay, so I'm just gonna name it a Tutorial Battlecats Ultimate. And drag it wherever you want, whatever. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get your init uh, initializer. And I have an initializer in here so I'm just gonna take this I'm gonna copy it uh, minimize this open up the folder where I want to install Battlecats Ultimate I'm gonna paste it into here and now already it shows that it can be run with Java but for you it might not show that it can run with Java it might show that it's openable with WinRAR or any other RAR extracting program I'm going to warn you right now, do not open with. If you open with Java, this will install it into your System32 folder. This won't affect anything. It won't make your computer explode, obviously, but it's kind of freaky. So do not open with. What you're going to want to do is you're going to right-click the initializer, properties, opens with, change, select the Java platform SC binary, click OK, and then just double click it. Huh, okay, sorry. Uh, that must be, uh, let me just grab the one I have for my actual Battlecats Ultimate folder. There we go. Sorry about that. Yours shouldn't be corrupt. That was just an issue on my end. And now it will start downloading all this stuff. So you just sit and wait for it to install. Uh, it should take a little bit, not too long. Uh, but so you don't have to sit through this. Only I have to sit through this. I'm going to stop the video, do jump cut, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye for now. Alright, so um, once it's done downloading everything, it'll tell you that a new jar a file update was found. Adds uh, 1.13 contents or whatever uh, version Battlecats Ultimate is on. Like, let's say the future it's like on. 13.8 it'll say it'll add 13.8 content just click ok and it'll start downloading that jar and you click ok 
and you open the folder here and you run this jar. You don't need the initializer anymore. You run the whatever version here. You just double click it the same as you double click the initializer. It'll open it up and now it'll start downloading more stuff. This won't take nearly as long as the last time. I'll still jump cut though, so I'll see you then. Okay, once everything's done downloading, it should open up the Battlecats Ultimate GUI. Um, this is where most tutorials would end, but I'm going to just give you a quick rundown. Uh, if you want to play stages, you go into stage info, click whatever. Uh, like if we want to play challenge mode, start. You can make a lineup, unit data, just click whatever units you want. Really simple. Um... Custom pack, this is where you go to create custom content and play custom content, really simple. And above all else, you'll want to go into configuration and if Battlecats Ultimate is running slowly for you, you're going to want to turn on Joggle. So what Joggle is going to do is it's going to change the rendering mode and when you turn it on, it's going to ask you to restart. So we're going to just quickly restart. Open up Battlecats Ultimate again. Just click OK if it says this. Although you might want to wait a little bit. If it tells you this, just wait like 15 seconds and then click OK. But since there's literally nothing we have in Battlecats Ultimate right now, I'm just going to click OK. It'll launch again. Just give it a few seconds. This takes like uh, 7 seconds every time. Really, really fast uh, startup if you ask me. And there we go. And now that we have Joggle on, uh, we're just going to go to stage. Uh, let's go play Passion Land this stage. Create a new lineup because that was in temporary. Temporary resets whenever you close uh, Battlecats Ultimate. If you add something, set one, this won't reset. So I'm just going to add Line Cap, Dark Cat real quick. And then you just press start. And boom. Really simple way to play Battle Cats. You can click large screen, it'll bring it full screen. Which I just like how I like to, for, to uh, play. Uh, if you don't want those hitboxes on beneath those guys, you just go into configuration, uh, turn off hitboxes. And that's it. That's how to download, install, and run Battle Cats Ultimate. I hope this tutorial helped you. All the necessary links will be down in the description, as well as links to both my Discord and the Battlecats Ultimate Discord. If you have any questions, if you run into any problems, just comment down below or go into one of the Discords. I will be glad to help, and if you go into the Battlecats Ultimate Discord, I'm sure other users will be glad to help uh, if I'm not online. Uh, anyways, I hope this tutorial helped you install Battlecats Ultimate. Have a nice day.